I don't think that white people can experience racism in the same way. I agree. So you see me as a white person? I do. Let the drama begin. <laughs> I don't hear about it as often anymore, but there's this soap called Conchanacar. Yeah. Little Vera Cruz. Yeah. 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 That, shit, that you know, your family will be like, oh, you should maybe face with this and see if it'll lighten you up a little bit. So definitely a lot of that. As the queen of, of white sicans, I, I, <laughs> I, I also have been told repeatedly to stay away from the sun, but it's because I then turn really red. Red, yeah. Yes. I, I, yeah. My family comes, there's different spectrums, like they're all from the same dad, the same mom, and it's like we have the people that look more indigenous and we have the people that look more Spanish, yeah. like, so it's like even within like brothers and sisters, I feel like in our own families, we even see that sort of like difference, like, oh, les está más güerito, like, oh, like, oh, you know, like, oh, stay out of the sun and stuff like that, so <laughs> I completely understand where you're going from. Yeah. What did we say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, having, you know, Afro-Latino friends and, and darker skin friends, a lot of the times I was not even aware of my privilege until I would be in situations together with them or going to a bar and I would have no problem getting in and then my best friend would have a problem because he was dark and they would say it's a private party and things like that and I'm like, this is <coughs> insane. And then you hear their stories and it's like, God, I would never understand what you're going through. I could not even begin to understand it. And then you realize how messed up it is. And then you come to the US and then you may experience racism, but even though you still are treated better than your Afro-Latino friends. In LA, I will often get compared to the working class. And so like, I'll go to nice places and I will always kind of be seen like as a help automatically, like by white people. Like I remember going to Erewhon, if you guys know where that's at, yes. bougie store. And then this lady approaches me and she's like, hey, I need help getting this item. And I'm like, like just I look at her and I look at what I'm wearing and I'm like, I thought I was dressed nice today. Like I thought I was studying. Um, and then she was like, I was like, I'm sorry, I don't work here. And this happens to me kind of often. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget um, one time in acting school, someone said, oh yeah, yeah, and because you're brown. And I was like, am I brown? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. But back home, I'm, I'm Blanquita, mm -hmm. so I had like this for a second disconnect, and I was like, oh yeah, I am brown, especially here. I'm super brown. But sometimes because of that colorism and those, you know, <laughs> remarks, you sometimes think that you're something that you're not. I feel like I didn't, assume I was brown till I came to America. And suddenly there's like a wider spectrum. So any with anyone that goes under the sun and turns to brown is immediately brown for them. For sure. And then like, how far are you gonna take the concept of brown? Cause like, for example, I'm not even considered white within a group of people. And, and this group of people only consider white people to be like Scandinavians. Yeah. You all live your own experiences that relate to your social and your cultural upbringing. And that's what kind of makes the ideas and the concepts that you attach the superficiality of color and pigmentation, which is what we're talking about. Yeah. It's so ignorant, this whole subject matter, and the fact that you grow up in a space where you're being told you don't belong because of color and because of our last name and because of our accents mm. have been forced. For you to be able to say this subject matter is ignorant and it's only pigmentation, I think that alone in itself is privilege. But I didn't say that. But you did. You, you no, said. No, I didn't say it's only that. That's how you interpreted what I said. Well, that's, so those that, are literally the words that I heard. But you I literally heard you say it's, it's only pigmentation and where you grew up. Well, it's a part of it, the cultural aspect of the ideas. For you, it might just be the idea, right, or the social context of it. But for others, it's literally what their life was about. It's real privilege to be able to say that because while you may have encountered discrimination because of your proximity to brownness, it's a very different experience. I've gotten pulled over and the cop has asked me how many times I've been in jail. And I've had to say, how many times? Like, are you assuming that I've been in jail because I'm brown? 
And I think when somebody, to me, that identifies as brown and if I were to see them walking in the street, I would not. For me personally, from my background and my experiences, it's difficult for me to hear. You, you use this example of being pulled over because you're brown. Well, try driving in Tijuana as a white person and see what happens with the cops over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. You don't have to apologize. It's just, it's just. I just, it, it almost sounded like what you were referencing was reverse racism, which to me is not a real thing. It can be bigotry. It can be biased, if you will. But I don't think that white people can experience racism in the same way. I agree. So you see me as a white person? I do. I fully understand that it's your experience. The similarity here, racism colorism, they are both rooted in white supremacy, mm -hmm. right? They're both, at the end of the day, contributing to the funnel of white supremacy. However, racism is perpetuated by people who are in control in terms of government, you know, social class, all of that stuff. So, you know, there is the idea that I do agree with, that people of color cannot be racist. We can only be colorist and prejudiced. And you can be prejudiced against any one. So colorism to me falls under prejudice, which is what we're discussing among our own people. <laughs>